Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Klaus and we have started the Halloween updates. I'm behind so I'm not going to uh I'm not going to give like a formal Halloween update video, but today we're going to be doing a Town Hall 8 Let's Play. And we're going to be working on Dark Elixir today because my laboratory is done. The wall breakers that were in there are done and I need to get these hogs to level 4. 40,000 Dark Elixir and I've got currently 25,000. Now I wanted to, well, let me, let me, let's talk about the update real quick. Look at these cute little things. Look at this, the trunk, the mushroom, they're they're so festive, I love it. I love how uh, everything looks here, guys, and you guys can see I've got a lot of obstacles on my base, and that's because last video, we put down a lot of upgrades that were long, and um, the Elixir Collector and Gold Mine, they both have just under three hours, and I wanted to go ahead and film this because I really need to get this laboratory going, so anyway, I haven't been able to clear everything off my base because all my builders have been busy, um, but um, if you guys have not seen the special obstacle just yet, if I go into my clans and check out the Boston Tea Party, and if I look at Gronk's base, I will show this again tomorrow just in case anybody misses it. But here is our special obstacle, guys. The scary pumpkin. It's so cute. It's like a mix between a pumpkin and a, a what? A Venus flytrap. Like, you know what I mean? That's just super cool. So anyway, guys, um, let's go back to base. I'm going to be talking about what I've been doing on the base. Um, I have not done any upgrades because I just said I, don't, I haven't had any builders. But I have been attacking with, again... As usual, straight up Barch. You can call me the Barch King if you want. But anyway, so with the Barch strategy, you end up grabbing a decent amount of golden elixir. And as you guys can see, the average attack, I get, you know, between two and 800 dark elixir. Well, I need a lot of dark elixir and I've already maxed out my gold. I've got a ton of elixir. So I have decided, don't do this at home, kids. But, uh, well, if you, you can if you don't need elixir. But I'm going to be using mass dragon and i've got uh i've got rage spells training up right now i've got mass dragon i've got everything boosted so let's just go find us some dark elixir I need, like i said i need about fifteen thousand dark elixir in order to start that upgrade in the laboratory so i'm going to be looking for some decent upgrade or decent bases with dark elixir in them um and i'm thinking it's only going to take a few honestly i mean hopefully it doesn't take the whole boost but if it does, it does. It's okay. So, like I said, um, you, well, not like I said, I'm telling you for the first time in this video. Um, I did do this a lot in the Town Hall 7 Let's Play. If you have not seen that, go check it out. But, um, the, the, getting Dark Elixir with Mass Dragon is honestly pretty easy. You can find bases with 2,000 Dark Elixir fairly easily. And so, I feel like since we need 15,000 Dark Elixir, we can get 2,000 per raid. That's only, you know, seven, eight raids. So, we'll see how long this takes, guys. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'm going to skip around until I find a base with a decent amount of Dark Elixir. I'll show you this raid. I might show you the second one, and then I'll skip ahead to the end of the boost when I've got enough loot. Um, so, like, 888. That's decent, but we can find better. So, uh, yeah, we'll find a base, and I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, I'm having a hard time finding any bases with more than about 12, 1300 Dark Elixir. I think it's because I'm too low in the trophies right now. Uh, but I did find this base, and finding Elixir is actually quite important. I don't want to run out of Elixir. I'm using a very, very expensive army. So if, uh, if I look at this base, the first thing you want to look at is the Sweeper, which is up here. And then the air defenses and it looks like we've got a very easily uh we can we can take out this uh, air defense on this left hand side pretty easily so um i will be covering um funneling a little bit more in the uh basics of war series that i've got going right now but essentially you want to take out the corners first and then uh then you can base you can go in there and you can erect the core and that's what we're trying to do so uh i've got a pretty decent amount of uh, dragons going into the core right now guys and hopefully they can take out that air defense before it does any more damage so there it is there's that um sending in some more dragons i've got rage spells because i prefer that over lightning and i don't have any i don't have any earthquake spells so that is a problem as well so we're gonna grab the dark elixir out of the storage guys and the next step is to take out that air defense and hopefully we can grab both of these um, both of these uh, elixir storages. It looks like we're not going to grab both of those elixir storages. I sent in my troops a little bit too north heavy, if you know what I mean. So that's unfortunate. Uh, let me drop another raid spell down on the town hall. Hopefully we can get a pretty good spread of troops and they'll aim south and take out some more of these elixir 
um, storages. So we got two dragons right now. One of them's getting destroyed by an air defense, unfortunately. Uh, but that's okay. This dragon might be our saving grace as long as we can take out this archer tower quickly. She or he or it, whatever, might actually grab. Oh, what are you doing? Get back over here. All right, we missed out on a lot of elixir, guys, but we did grab the dark elixir, which is essentially what we're doing and why we're here. And we got 1,700 dark elixir. So if we can do that a few more times, we should be able to grab that 40,000. We should land on that 40,000 mark. So give me just a second. I've got all my dragons. Ooh, and I've got all my spells. Awesome. Well, let me uh, let me train up some more. The 29,000. So it's a 290,000 elixir army plus the 90,000 in in uh, rage spell. So it's essentially it's about 380,000 elixir for this army. So we are going to lose the elixir, unfortunately. But the good thing is we can find elixir pretty easily with Bart. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, so again, I guess you know what? I'll show you this next raid as well because uh, we're here. Why not? Uh, so just give me a second, I'll find a base, and we'll uh, break its face open. Alright guys, 2,000 Dark Elixir in this, it's a standard Town Hall 8 base, and I think, let's uh, figure out, okay, so the Sweeper is here, and the uh, air defenses are, this is a pretty decent base, I'm not sure how uh, successful we're going to be, but we might as well try, because we can and we should. So, dropping down some dragons here, clearing out the corners, I want to definitely send in the vast majority of the uh, dragons into the core here. So let me drop a few more dragons, one of them's going off at the army camp unfortunately, let me drop a rage. And uh, we might have to drop another dragon to grab that army, that uh, air defense. Um, and uh, let me drop another rage here as well. I've got one more dragon that I'm going to wait just a little bit, just in case I need to do some fancy drops. And uh, actually, if I send it right at that gold storage, we should be fine. Got oh, no, he's going to the stinking spell factory. That's terrible. All right, well, let me rage down this last group of dragons here. We should be able to easily gut this entire core because we've got several dragons under rage. Oh, no, we're down to one. What the heck happened, guys? All right, grab the dark elixir, buddy. Come on. Come on. Grab the dark elixir. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, crap. So we just failed miserably, guys. Oh, man. That was terrible. I should have went with my gut. I should have listened to my instinct on that one. So 571 Dark Elixir is not bad. We did lose a lot of Elixir as well. Um, so uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> it's going to take a while before the army is ready, guys. So okay, um, I promise not all of my raids are going to be fails, uh, but that does happen with dragons on occasion. So I'm going to train up all these guys, and I'm going to finish out this boost, and hopefully we'll land on that 40,000 Dark Elixir by the end of the boost. So I'll be back in a little while with a, hopefully, a full Dark Elixir storage. Be right back. All right, guys, it's been about an hour and a half. I'm on my second boost, and I've got 39,227 Dark Elixir. I only need about 750 give or take Dark Elixir before I can start my hogs to level 4 and I just found this massive dead base so we're gonna take this base for all it's worth unfortunately I don't have my king so I'm gonna have to use my dragons a little bit more intelligently than I normally would have so we'll throw down a dragon in that corner and we definitely want to grab this uh, Dark Elixir storage but we also want to grab the Dark Elixir drill so I'm gonna throw down a dragon over there in the laboratory and I'm going to throw down a dragon over there in that barracks. Now, I'm going to be watching and waiting. Let me throw down a rage over there for the uh, the dragons and dealing with that air defense over there. And uh, I need a dragon over here for this dark barracks. And okay, cool. So we, this, uh, this set of dragons got the dark elixir out of that drill. And I've got a dragon working on the dark elixir storage. We'll go ahead and rage them up now. So they should get all that dark elixir out of that storage. And we've already broken 40,000 Dark Elixir, so that is awesome, guys. I am so excited. Now I just need to get the Elixir. Um, let's grab the Elixir out of that collector and that Elixir out of that collector, and then that should do us just fine. Of course, we're going to lose the raid, but I don't care. All I want is the loot, you know what I mean? So there is that Elixir, guys, and uh, this dragon's all that's left. It's going to get wrecked, so let's go ahead and just get out of there. Alright guys, so um, nearly 300,000 Elixir, 1,800 Dark Elixir, and I lost 20 trophies, big deal. So there we go guys, 41,000 Dark Elixir, and I'm going to go ahead and collect this because I've got a little bit more in there and a lot of Elixir to spend. So if I go into my laboratory guys, I have been boosting dark uh, dragons for Dark Elixir, and I have the worst, the worst luck at finding Dark Elixir as a Town Hall 8. So 
Uh, it probably would have taken you guys one boost, but I'm on my second. I'm actually in the middle of my second boost right now. And I grabbed that 40,000 Dark Elixir. So guys, in 11 days, I'm going to be in peak condition to start hogging some bases as a Town Hall Atom War. So let's go ahead and do this in 40,000 Dark Elixir in 3, 2, 1. Bam! Yes! All right, Max, Max Hogs, guys. <laughs> Max Hogs hype. I'm so excited. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of... I'm going to gem the time off of these two buildings because I have to leave for work. But I uh, I really want to get this thing done. So I'm going to clear up all these obstacles real quick. And um, then we're going to talk about the next two upgrades on the base because they're big ones. One of them is something dumb I shouldn't have forgotten. But they're both elixir upgrades, which means we're going to be spending plenty of gold. I wanted to go ahead and gem the time on those upgrades because I... Uh, I'm tired of upgrade. Or I'm tired of raiding and uh, having a max gold storage. I mean, that was a huge oversight on my part. A mistake. A my bad. A oopsie doopsie. And, uh, and now we uh, we're gonna make up for it. So I gemmed the time. It was only you know about 20 gems each. So that was totally worth it to me. Um, so uh, I'm gonna clear up all these obstacles. I'm going to my progress base. And we're gonna do some upgrading whenever it comes to. Uh, we're gonna do some walls. I'm gonna get rid of Pinky. I know this this was a huge. Uh, this was the only level 6 wall from last episode, the one that I forgot. Everyone named it Pinky, and uh, it was the subject of a lot of controversy on the channel. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get rid of it now so that it no longer causes any issues. So let me clear up the rest of these obstacles, and I'll meet you guys at my progress base. Oh, guys, it feels so good to have these hogs upgrading in this laboratory. I'm so stinking excited now let's talk about what's gonna happen on the base i think the first order of business should be to get rid of this level six wall so two hundred thousand gold there you go guys no more compliment no more complaints in the in the comment section all right guys so what's next um i think we need to talk about the town hall eight war base um uh, obviously elixir upgrades are the priority anytime you do a war base so the two buildings or the three buildings that are really the highest priority now are the dark spell factory the Dark Elixir Storage, and the Dark Elixir Drill. Now, the next upgrades that I'm going to be doing with Dark Elixir will be the Valkyries, the Golems, which are 20 and 50,000. Uh, oh, wait, whoa. The Golem, 20 is the minion. I don't even know what the Golem's going to be... Uh, is going to be worth or what it's going to cost because my dark elixir barracks are still upgrading i've got two days for that so i'm gonna definitely whoa hey go back there um i'm gonna definitely need to be upgrading my dark elixir storage but because i want to get some free dark elixir from my drill i think i'm going to be upgrading my dark elixir drill and my dark spell factory in this video if you look at the upgrade uh little page thing there we unlock the earthquake spell and quad quake breaks down all the walls and it's gonna make our goblin knife that much easier and the goblin knife is actually how i wanted to grab all that dark elixir if you go in actually got gk goblin knife i've got it trained up right there or i like like set up in the quick train section but you have to have quad quake or you're gonna have a pretty big struggle getting the goblin knife to work so i got all that dark elixir from dragons not the recommended way to do it but it worked and it only cost me about four about a million elixir which i can grab in about five barge raids so let's go ahead and let's start the most important upgrade on the base right now and that's the dark spell factory so 2.5 million elixir in three two one Bam. All right, guys. So that should be the max level for Tunnel 8. I'll go ahead and move it over. And if it is not the max level, I'll find out soon. All right. And then what's next, guys? Before we use up our builders, we need to spend some gold. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade a few of these walls here. Um, move that one over. And let's just take out a big section of these walls and upgrade them now. So that's going to be 4.5 million gold right there. So we just spent a whole bunch of gold, but we've got more because we have it in the treasury. So let's collect that. And then let's also collect everything in the gold mines and the elixir collectors. Boom, bang, bam, bada, boom. All right. So what's next, guys? We got 1.7 million gold, and these are half a million each. So we can do three more to finish off the gold spending in this video, guys. So that was awesome. That was a ton of walls that we just did. And now I'm going to occupy my final builder with a final elixir upgrade. Do I want to do, I know I already talked about this, but do I want to do the dark elixir storage or do I want to do the dark elixir drill? 2.4 million, so I don't really have enough for that one. Or 1.5 million elixir. It's only a two day upgrade and uh, that means I'm going to have three builders coming alive at all at the same time. Not sure how I feel about that. Three, uh, Getting three builders all at the same time is a lot. Um, thinking about what day that'll be. 
You know what? I think I'll have the time. So that's good. That's good. I'm going to upgrade this Dark Elixir Drill now. It will not be maxed, but it will serve a huge purpose because the higher your Dark Elixir Drills are, the more free Dark Elixir you get. And I want to max those out as soon as I can. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I've got a barch going, or I've got a boost going, and I've got barch trained up in my um, in my laboratory here, or my, my barracks. What's wrong with me today? So I think I'm going to call it quits here and finish off my boost so I don't waste the gems. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're enjoying seeing the base come to life. We got the hogs going to level 4. So in 11 days, we're going to be war ready. Um, and the dark barracks are going to be available in 2 days. Which means I'm going to finally be able to train dark troops. I'm going to finally have golems so I can do like a govaho or govalo attack in war. It's going to be pretty sweet, guys. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not joined the class family and if you have any suggestions for the base let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys again next time